Jury candidates in the Aaron Dean murder trial were asked more specific questions today about police and community relations. The former Fort Worth police officer on trial for the death of a Tatiana Jefferson. Today, even more potential jurors were dismissed in the effort to get that trial started by next week. Fox Sports' Dan Anglin joining us now with more on today's courtroom conversations. Dion. Hi there, Heather. Well, uh, it is believed today is the final full day of jury selection. Uh, we uh, should know by early tomorrow if a panel of 12 and two alternates have been seated in this trial against Aaron D. Further scrutiny of prospective jurors Thursday. In a group setting, the remaining men and women interacted with attorneys in Judge George Gallagher's courtroom. Reporters watched from a separate room on a closed circuit monitor. Former police officer Aaron Dean is facing a murder charge for the on duty fatal shooting of a Tatiana Jefferson. Dean, while responding to a call about an open front door at her mother's home, fired through a backyard window, killing Jefferson. Some exchanges with the prosecutor regarding possible bias included this jury candidate's remark. I am quite sick and tired of how police officers are being treated. The prosecutor said, so you are saying you'd be starting off with a bias and with the state at a disadvantage based on your position. The candidate responded, I'm going to say yes. Another person responded, I think police officers are a great asset to our community, a necessary asset to our community, but I don't feel just because you have a badge, you can do whatever. Protests after Jefferson's death received widespread attention. The prosecutor asked candidates to share their views on the Black Lives Matter movement. One man responded, I believe the Black Lives Matter movement is divisive and is not accomplishing what it set out to. A woman answered, I think there is a place for saying Black Lives Matter, since in the past it seems lives of color have not seemed to matter when lost in certain situations. After discussion on several more topics, including reasonable doubt, a defendant who chooses not to testify in their own defense, and the difference between murder and manslaughter, one man made this statement. I just want to say what seems to be overlooked here is that this young lady lost her life. I just want to hear all of the facts. Now, the defense began its discussion with prospective jurors late this afternoon. Defense attorney Bob Gill told the group he disagreed with the prosecutor that he did not feel that it was necessary to start with an even playing field that or if the state was at a disadvantage. He said that's because that Dean is presumed innocent until proven guilty. It's a very latest live. Heather, back to you. All right, Dion, thank you.